what's your name, sir? Uh, Sean. Sean. And how long have you been doing the program for? Almost two months. Two months? Yes, ma'am. You're not Cleo's primary handler, you're her secondary yeah, handler? I'm a secondary okay. Handler. Can you tell me about primary and secondary handlers? What's the difference? The primary handlers are usually with the dogs more part of the time, but they sleep in the cage with them, and they sleep in the same uh, room. They're the ones that has more responsibility, taking them out to use the bathroom, make sure their food is all good, and you know what I'm saying? Basically, bonding and teaching the tricks, teaching the dog more tricks. While the secondary are just there to assist the primary, whatever you cannot do. Can I see some of the things that you do with her? Yeah. How does it feel when she responds to you? It feels like I have power. <laughs> you know, it feels like, you know what I'm saying, if, if I can teach this dog to do I can teach most of the dogs in the world. Okay. Anything is possible. If you teach a dog to do something, with time, it's going to obey you no matter what. Right. Just because of the love it has for you also. Yeah. What is your name? Uh, Jeff Vaughn. Jeff Vaughn. And how long have you been here for? Uh, I've been here since um, December 15th. December 15th. Kind of a short-termer. Okay. Tell me a little bit about how you got here. Uh, well, I, actually, this is a um, probation violation on a DUI. Okay. You know, I'm 53, going on 19. I just got to quit acting that way. And uh, this is this is uh, it's been a great experience. You know, you can you can take something and make a positive out of it. Tell me about the dog that you're working with. I'm working. This is Rhett. Rhett, uh, as in Rhett Butler. And uh, yes, I can so, see so you're he's... very handsome. <laughs> very handsome. And he loves ladies too. Does so, he? Um, hey, you're beautiful. A lot of these young guys right here don't know where going with the wind is. So right. They have to ask why name it Rhett. It's just a good feeling. You know, to, to work with these dogs, and it, it's helped me. I mean, I've had problems with patients, having patients, and guess what? It's helped me with that. So, yeah. yeah, because you can't rush things. I mean, with these animals, if you're impatient with these animals, they're just not going to connect with you, right. are they? No, so no, you have to have patience. You have to have patience, and um, you know, when they're when they're with you 24/7, it really makes a difference, and especially when they're they're in the uh, cell with us, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it just built on a great relationship. Mm -hmm. It really is. So if you ever feel down or if you have a negative time, how does your dog change that? I get up and just rub his stomach a little bit and hug him up and, and, and kiss him and mess with him. So, uh, you know, I get real close to him and uh, he knows that. So mm -hmm. um, he's just a lovable dog and he's just good to, to, to you know, we kind of play rough on my bed up there a little bit at night. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. So. Okay. Um, Wayne, tell me a little bit about Queenie. Okay, this her name is Queenie. I'm the primary one. And she's like a lab mix yeah. with a pit, and um, she's very athletic. She does the drill agility. She does frisbee training, and she's got it. Um, she's very strong in obedience, also. What got you over? What got you here? Okay, um, what got me here is my case is not complete yet, but a DUI. Right. And I'm still going to court for it right now. Okay. So it have changed. It gave me a, a perspective of looking at, don't put myself in a situation, and then I won't have to worry about being here. But what I try to do is take advantage of the time that I do have here, and that's um, working with Queenie and doing any kind of classes I have to take. So when I do get out, I won't put myself back in that situation. Again. And do you think it'll work? I mean, you're saying okay. that to me now, yes, but I are these so. just words, or really are you going to put that into no, action? I really feel it inside. You Before, do? Before, when I was getting in trouble, I really didn't feel like I was going to change it. I really feel it inside right now. How has she helped you change? Making me be accountable. Because <laughs> when you have her, you feel so good about taking care of her. When she accomplishes something, you feel good about it. So yeah. being more accountable. How long have you worked with her for? Um, eight months now. Eight Since months? June last year. Yes. Really? So you must have a very strong bond with her. Yes, I do. How she changed you? I deal with patience more because, you know, when you're trying to teach them something, if you don't get it on the first, second, or third time, you got to be persistent with it. So patience was the most important thing that she taught me. I hear you do some pretty spectacular stuff with Queenie. Yes, we does the agility training. Okay, can we see that? Yes, we can. Can I see it? All right, take her away. That was 
fantastic. We have a star agility dog here. What's so great about this is that you're really making her more adoptable. <laughs> That's fabulous. Thank you, Wayne. That's awesome. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's great. It's great to see it. Thank you.